today I have got an announcement for a new Q&A that I'm going to do for my channel. Now that I've just hit 400 subscribers, I would have included this in my 400 sub special thing that I did a few days ago, but the video was getting long, and so that's why I'm kind of doing an extension for that. But if you guys have any questions for the Q&A, which the question giving will go for two weeks, from here until two weeks from now, which I'll be on vacation at that time when the um, question giving ends. So um, I will have an announcement video out possibly before I like next week or so when I go, before I go on vacation and not just to give more details on that. And um, so, if you guys have any questions for the Q and A. Let me know in the comments of this video, and the uh, questions will be answered in a separate video when I hit 450, which I've figured now I'll do just every 50 subs, I'll do Q&As, which I think would work pretty good for my channel, because I don't, there's two things I don't want to do on my channel, and I want to stick to not doing those, and one is a face reveal, I don't feel there's comfortable or certain people feel comfortable doing face reveals on their channels I don't so I don't want to do one of those and the other thing I don't want to do is a giveaway of any form because I just don't feel comfortable doing those and it's like I know like one of my friends he said that I should do a small giveaway for 500 I don't feel like doing it so I'm not going to and so that pretty much explains how things will go on my channel. And you guys can see a unfinished, barely even started mock. And if you guys are wondering why the uh, mystery machine from the Scooby-Doo set that I have is in there, that um, will go with this mock in some way. I'm thinking of doing like a... Uh, kind of a copy of my Minecraft history shop with like statues and like merchandise and all that stuff just Scooby Doo related which I'm thinking that'll be the corner custom modular for um, this one end of my city that I'm kind of trying to work on when I get the when I get time as well as just feel like building Legos, so that's what I'm trying to work on, but I don't know if I'm going to downsize my Lego store to get parts, because my Lego store is pretty much the perfect size right now, with it being 16 by 32 studs, and I want to keep the overall color to this to be white, and I want this to be about the same size of a normal modular, just not the, not the height, not in height, but in width. And so, if you guys know, I've already marked off the front. Thanks to a um, person on Google Plus who um, told me the uh, normal width for Lego modulars for their sidewalks in the front. I've marked that off. And I just need to know how much space they usually don't use in the back. Then I can cut off on with bricks. Cut off the size of the building. And so, you guys, if you know the uh, amount of studs wasted in the back of modulars, let me know in the comments section as well as feel free to drop any questions for the Q&A that you might have in the comment section below and just like and subscribe for more because I will do more in the future and I don't know how much more because I'm thinking of taking a major break after my vacation so you guys can just feel free to drop questions for the Q&A in the comment section below and just like and subscribe for more because I will do more in the future